It may be necessary sometimes, whether at work or home, to tow a trailer. It's very important to pay attention to details to make sure you stay safe and keep all injuries away. For the moment, I'd like to talk about personal protective equipment, or PPE. Those things include a vest, a good hard hat, and a set of gloves. Your gloves should always be on you. From the moment you step out of your truck, they should be on to keep you able to move some cones, some stands, signs, whatever other equipment you have. Keep your hands safe. One of the most important things you should always remember, though, is to always have a partner to be with you to set up and tear down work zones to keep you much safer. When hooking up a trailer, if possible, have an assistant to help you. This will increase efficiency and safety. Now let's talk about the hitch and ball. The receiver on the truck has a ball that hooks to the trailer. Make sure the ball is the right size for that trailer. Line it up. The stinger can easily be removed for safe storage. It is a good practice to remove the stinger when not in use. This way it will prevent injuries while getting things out of the back of the truck. The trailer tongue has three main components. Your coupler, your chains, and your wiring harness. Your coupler should be vertical to allow it to safely sit by lowering it onto your ball and then close the latch. You should always keep it locked to be, keep it from being stolen and to keep from having other injuries. Keep it down and it will lock it onto the ball once you've lowered it onto the trailer. From here, we put our chains on. The chains need to put into an X pattern. The X pattern allows the trailer to be held on should the coupling ever fail the unit. The wiring harness is your third unit. From here, we plug this into the electrical receiver of your actual truck. This will allow the lights to go from the truck via brakes and turn signals into the back of the trailer that allows the other motorists to know where you are. Always make sure that you raise your trailer tongue up so you can allow the truck to back in and set down softly. If you don't do this, you could smash the tongue into the hitch or into the back of your truck causing serious damage. Hey partner, let's go hook up. When hooking up a truck to a trailer, it's a good idea to have an assistant. The assistant should stand on the driver's side, never in the middle. It could be dangerous. On this particular trailer, we have front stabilizers on the left and right side. In order to drop the trailer onto the hitch, we must first raise the stabilizers off the ground. From here, we can them up into the forward position to allow nothing from the side to smack your legs. As you lower the coupler onto the tow ball, it needs to engulf the ball completely. If you are able to see any of the ball from the side, then it is not seated properly. There is a safety lock attached to the latch that can be moved into the wrong position and block the ball from seating. If this happens, do not put your hands or fingers near the ball. If the coupler allows the ball to pop into place, it could cause serious damage to your fingers. Simply raise the coupler off of the ball, then adjust the safety lock back to the edge of the coupler and try again. This should fix the problem. When the coupler is properly seated, lower the latch into the lock position and place a lock through the hole in the latch. There is a two-fold reason for this. It prevents the lock from popping open accidentally and it also prevents theft of the trailer. Whether in tow or not, you should always lock your trailer. Now it's time to hook up the safety chains.
Depending on the setup of your hitch, you may be able to hook the chains onto it or you may need to hook them underneath the bumper. Notice the X pattern underneath the coupler. That is done to catch the tongue of the trailer should it come free from the truck. There should be enough slack to allow easy turning, but not enough to drag on the ground. Next, plug in your wiring harness to the receiver and check your lights to ensure they are functioning properly. Now raise the legs of the trailer and lock them in place. Do a safety walk around before you leave to remove any wheel chucks. Check that all the legs have been raised and double check that everything is properly fastened. When towing a trailer, you'll have an additional weight and length added to your vehicle. You must remember this for stopping distance and when driving through heavy traffic. If you merge over into different lanes, your additional length must be compensated for, so don't move over unless you have a bigger space cleared for yourself. When stopping for gas, you should always do a walk around your vehicle just to be sure that your lights, your air pressure, and everything's hooked up properly still. And always be, be prepared, prepared for, for safety. safety.